Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 52. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking part in the Brands Hatch 15 lap challenge. Why are you turning around? I'm talking to you here. My driver's just decided to uh, completely and blatantly ignore me. How do you like... Here we go. Thank you. Thank you for listening to what I have to say. Uh, so what we're going to be doing... Is we're going to be taking this R8 LMS Ultra from Audi Sport Team Phoenix. It's bright blue and yellow. It's the... I, I would say it's not a very nice colour, but I didn't want grey. I wanted something different. So, we're going with this car. Uh, and we're going to be going around Brands Hatch. Hopefully, we can get a win like we did in the last race around Suzuka. If you haven't checked that out, check that out. Because it was really, really cool. Uh, there was sort of a load of like... How the turntables situations. That was a funny joke. It wasn't funny. Uh, so typical opponents are the NSX, Supra, and the Nismo Z. So we should be pretty decent with this. Uh, 679 brake horsepower and 115,000 credits. One thing I will do, though, uh, is make sure that we have... Oh, do I want racing mediums as an option? They're expensive. We'll stick with racing hards for this entire race. I feel like that's our safest bet. Brands Hatch. 15 lap challenge. Brands Hatch is a very nice track. Here we go. Starting grid. 15 laps. 36.5 miles. So it's about the same as Suzuka. So it should take the same amount of time. About 22 minutes. But obviously the tight corners... Maybe about 24. Uh, what cars are we actually going against? Nismos, Impuls. Uh, we got a Castrol Tom Supra here. NSXs, NSX, 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 NSX. There's like six of them. Great. <laughs> right, here we go. Brands Hatch with the Audi R8. This is the fourth attempt I've done at this race because I keep crashing on the first lap. It is so difficult to control these cars around Brands Hatch. It is one of the most difficult circuits. That first corner where it like drops like 20 stories is ridiculous. Uh, and the first corner in the square box section is also a nightmare. Um, and this car struggles to control through here. Right, there we go. Perfect. Right, try not to spin out on this corner, please. I feel like ABS probably needs to be turned up because the brakes are like, the wheels are locking. Oh shit, I needed to shift up. That's a big problem if you don't shift up. You're joking me. Was that just a droplet of rain? Yeah, look at that corner. That is just disgusting.
What are you doing? Why are you trying to spin my car out then? Toxic prick. Right, we are 20.3 seconds behind. Hopefully we can gain some time in this next section. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Ah, oh, right. So it's going to be a repeat of Suzuka. Hopefully it doesn't rain too heavily because I do not have um, wet tires. Again, forgot them. Completely forgot they existed, apparently. There we go. Tom Supra has been over... Taken? There we go. I didn't want to finish that word if we hadn't done it. We are on a 0% uh, surface water at the moment, so we shouldn't be out complaining at all. But if that hits 50%, I can guarantee you we're going to start struggling big time. Even 20%, I think it might be a struggle. But on Suzuka, it never hit 20%. It started going downhill afterwards. Perfect. What are you doing? Get back. Do not re overtake me. That is a crime against countries. That is a war crime. I should be in 11th position by now, to be honest. This car is rear wheel drive, though. That is the uh, big problem. If it gets too wet, it's going to be a risk. Why did I not purchase wet tires? Oh, look at that. The rain stopped. Ah, oh, that is decent. That is lucky. I mean, I don't know whether that's lucky. Because now the other cars also have hard tyres on. Perfect. Right. 
Right, we are now a third of the way into the race now. The NSX is struggling to get around that corner as well. Okay, that did not go so well. I am trying to overtake and trying to get those positions, but this Audi will not let me. I might have to just like turn every single assist on. Automatic braking, automatic steering, Jesus. Might have to go down that route. ABS definitely needs to be turned up in my next race. I don't care what anyone says, I'm turning ABS up. Because the car keeps sliding every time I brake. For some reason, every other car is fine. But as soon as I get into these GT3 cars, they can't brake. Just let me pass. I've been chasing this NSX for the past three laps. Oh my gosh, you have got to be joking me. Alright, time for Kamikaze. Thank you. I'm starting to hate the Honda NSX just because of this game. And that's made up for every single bad lap on the last two. That hasn't. Now it hasn't. And now it has again. Nearly didn't. Oh god, the rain's back. It's coming down heavy as well. Let's hope it stops like it normally does in Britain. I think this next lap we're going to have to come into the pits. Oh gosh, that's heavy. That's heavy. And we don't have uh, wet weather tyres. Though, our tyres have done really well around this track, surprisingly. I feel like after this lap, the fuel tank... Uh, bleh, fuel... Bleh, bleh, can't speak. Full tank of fuel and fresh tyres will definitely do us till the end of the race. Whether we'll be able to drive, though, because we'll be on hard tyres is a completely different story. I think we could have even done an extra lap if we had the fuel, which we are running very low by the way, so I'm gonna have to keep my eye on that. Right, let's go in. What did I know? Ah! We are not gonna have enough fuel. We're not gonna have enough fuel. It wasn't a full tank of fuel. Crap. Please tell me it's quarter of the way up. Oh 
Okay. Okay. We may have enough fuel to push it. And water is settling. That uh, track surface is now going up. Perfect. Thanks to that absolute cock up by me, I now have to do a little bit of fuel saving on these first few laps. To be fair, I'll do it on these wet laps because, oh my gosh, how many people are going in the pits? I'll do the fuel saving on these wet laps where it starts getting wet. We used exactly an eighth of a tank of fuel for that lap. How the other drivers haven't used as much fuel as we have, I do not know. Perfect. Right, we are catching up with Tom Supra again. Right, cars are going into the pit stops now. Come on. So, remember last time with the Nissan one, we were fifth position and we ended up coming out with like a 10 second gap. Ah, oh, the fuel though. I don't like how much we're using. What the fuck was that? Nissan literally would not move out of the way when I was trying to break. Genuinely though, I am worried about that fuel. Nissan's gone in the pits though, so that's good. Wait, we're in fourth? Okay, but uh, track grip and all that is a little bit dodgy right now. I'm shifting earlier to try and compensate. 
the lag though from um, multiple cars going in the pits. To be fair, the fuel usage isn't too bad. It's just the rain that I'm worried about. Okay, we're in third. And second place is going into the pits now. I have a feeling first might not have pitted yet then. Now, nah, first would have pitted by now. Right, come on. Okay, so we can uh, do normal shifting for a bit. Because we have excess fuel. Nearly two seconds have been gained on that car in first. Okay, yeah, we need to make sure we're sticking with that. Come on. Oh, Jesus. That was horrible. That was horrible. Right. Come on, come on. Our best lap was our third lap. Right. We have two more laps. Wait, we're in first. He's pitted. No way. You know what that means? Everyone's pitting to go onto hard tires for two laps. Bit of a crazy tactic, but I will not complain because we managed to stay out on hard tyres. To be fair, our tyres are doing really well. Look how much grip's left on those. I'm guessing like 7 means like 70 plus percent, like with it between 70 and 79 percent. So I would say the fronts have like 70 percent on them. And the rears have between 50 and 60. That wasn't great. But again, as long as we're above the red line by the time we cross the finish line, uh, we should be okay for fuel. I could even pit now if I wanted to. And I might make it out on time. But I'm not going to. I'm going to push for it. Just go slower. Uh, why is that first place behind me? Why is there a car going into the pits on the final lap? Their outlap is going to be their final lap. That's a bit crazy.
I still can't believe we did a Suzuka around Brands Hatch and managed to survive the wet weather with the driest and hardest tires to control. How? The fact is those tires would have been cooled down by the wet weather, making it even more difficult to grip. But look at how little fuel is left. Do you know, we are about to actually lap someone. And that's it. The red light for the fuel came on. And that is us done. 23 minutes. Oh, that was crazy. That was crazy. The wet weather, honestly, threw me off guard completely. If that happens on the Nürburgring, which is going to be the next one. God, I don't even know. That would be an absolute nightmare. 115,000 credits, though. Three stars. Brilliant. I will take that. Thank you very much. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord, and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. I will take you